A good martial artist does not become tense, but ready. Not thinking, yet not dreaming. Ready for whatever may come. When the opponent expands, I contract. When he contracts, I expand. When there is an opportunity, I do not hit. It hits all by itself. a fan of this man because he just brings so much energy so much charisma and so much crazy when you put that all together when he steps in the octagon he fights his heart out as simple as that it doesn't matter how much damage he takes he keeps coming forward he stands five feet ten inches tall his official weight an even 174 pounds his mma record stands at 14 victories opposite eight defeats and holds an undefeated bare knuckle record at 1 0. Platinum! Mike Perry! <laughs> Why do they call you Platinum? If we wanted to set up a satellite to talk to God, we'd probably make it out of a platinum so it could reach across the universe and the energy would stretch far and beyond anything we've ever known. And it's, it's, it's a precious object. It's wanted, hard to obtain. You know, they use, they use platinum like they use gold in some electronic ways, you know, I'm going a little farther with it, but it's like the word, like I conduct a lot of energy and, and I can absorb a lot of energy and, and My name is Platinum Mike Perry, and I am a bare knuckle fighter out of Oakland, Florida. I just gotta fight. That's it. I gotta tuck my chin, go forward. If I gotta get hit, I gotta get hit. You know, if I gotta bleed. I gotta bleed. If I'm gonna bleed, I'm gonna mount him and drown him in my own blood then. So that Perry's head, like he's doing there, he's forcing the head down to the floor. Oh he's man, he's really hand. opening up that cut as well. Yeah man, he is squeezing with everything he's got. Mike Perry, my God, what a tough man. Wow. Because look at that. Everyone gets in that ring and they run away from me. That's what I learned. They get in that ring and they run away from me and they wait and they wait and they run away and they hide and they try to cower away and then they throw a sneaky snake punch or something like it's gonna hurt me. You can't hurt me. So find a new fucking plan because it ain't gonna happen. Trying to throw a knee inside is Perry. Oh, Perry <laughs> been in the UFC for five or six years. I fought 15 times while I was there. Um, I fought over 20 times as a professional. Um, 
I've been in the boxing ring. I competed at Triad Combat, and then I beat uh, Julian Lane, who is an experienced bare knuckle boxer in bare knuckle fighting championships. And uh, I'm looking to make my second bare knuckle fight for BKFC August 20th against Michael Venom Page, a uh, world-class fighter. Yeah, you're fighting somebody that knows combat very well and I'm going to be that sniper that puts you down. MVP Michael Venom Page! I tell you what, when they contract, I expand. When they expand, I contract. And when there is an opportunity I don't hit, it hits all by itself. Yeah, you can hurt me. Yeah, you can hit me. Yeah, you can knock me down. I make mistakes, but like, I'm going to wear you out at ringside. And then I'm going to drown. I've declared this fight to be a split draw. In the event of a draw decision, a bare knuckle fight may continue with one overtime round. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight will continue! The winner of this round wins the fight. It's as simple as that. Right in on the exit for Page. That was 55 seconds remaining in this overtime round. You've got to love this. I'm going to get the best in this last minute. Probably going to win this fight. Clinch once more, underhook snatched by Page on the separation. 20 seconds remaining in this overtime round. Both fighters bloody. Jack left hook, not much on that from Page, left hand. Perry with the left hook. Down the stretch for Michael Page and Mike Perry. And to the clinch. And now that officially is the end of our main event. Both guys were exhausted there, Sean. The three judges ruling in a split draw. They then discount their scorecards for the opening five. Our judges at ringside have declared your winner by majority decision. You know, there's this, there's this piece about this that I, that I have these marks on my face. As a man in a fight game, is is unfortunate. You know what you're up for before the fight. And then afterwards, there's just this amazing piece. I just feel like the sun is shining on me, and I got my boy, and we walking, and uh, happy man. It's a good time. <laughs>